What's up, Jeff? Alright guys, welcome to Jam Box Breaks 813 PM Eastern Time on the 6th. We're breaking our only archives, archi or archives case of baseball 2021. Good luck to you. 10 box case. I got Mosaic Fast Pitch uh, 5 box up guys. And then I got Chronicles to post tomorrow. And then 5 star will be out this week. I got one 9 box inner commons. Oh, give me. Why don't you let me buy more? Let's do it. What's up, Jim? All right. For the Rockies, if you don't want your picture, let me know. I'll try and secure it the best I can, but it's kind of tough. But Blake Street Bombers for the Rockies. Larry Walker, Galarraga, and Bichette's. Including them in every box. I don't really have anything to really secure them in. They'd be folded up more, but I guess not. I haven't broke this product in a long time. Particularly, I like the sort because of all the different borders. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but I only got one, so what the hell. How's everybody's weekend going? He's excited for football tomorrow. I do not know the SPs in this guy. They did not release a checklist on that as of yet that I saw. So if I don't top load your SP, I'm sorry. Take a look because they're not. They don't have a. Uh, at least as. Yesterday, I didn't have a checklist for it. That's a pack of fish. Alright. Box number one. First up, we have John Flaherty for the Yanks. Uh, New York Yankees is Sean. Yankees down. Is there anything special I'm looking for in this, guys? I, I just look at the checklist. There's not many uh, things that really caught my eye on there. I know they have the um, 2001 uh, New York things for 9-11, but I didn't really see much that jumps out in terms of different uh, variations or anything. All right, we got Carlos Delgado, Blue Jays. That one is numbered to 150. Uh, Toronto is Richard. Yankees one was 
numbered was not. Alright, so Toronto's down. And that's good for inserts and rookies and stuff like that. Another border cards are generally numbered in this product. I don't know if there's any others that you know off the top of your head. Cool cards though, they got a lot of throwbacks that we grew up with early 2000s this year they're doing cool little subsets So we have a foil of Randy Arrozina, number to 150. And that is it for box one. Nothing, guys. Nothing to look for. All right, box two. We got the black aces. Looks like there's two athletics on that, so that will get majority owner of that. So that's going to get the athletic spot. You guys can frame it up and hang it above your bed. <laughs> Tonight, guys, what's on TV? I'm missing. Are you watching some Lifetime Christmas movies? So that's my fiance is doing at the moment. Now that I left the room. Watch them more. I mean, I can't. Well, I don't really get flyer games. I just get um, <clears throat> Washington Capitals. Just not a hockey fan no more. It's too soft of a game now. I don't enjoy watching. It. I used to love all the hits and the penalties and the fights. And I haven't been into it in years. I watched the Stanley Cup, but even then, I'm not even excited no more. Oh, are they playing the Caps? I could have watched it then. <laughs> I like watching the Vatican, but like I said, I just I can't get into hockey like I used to. I used to go to a bunch of Philly games back in the day, Flyers growing up. You know, only for their cold ice cream they got there with the chocolate dip on it. <laughs> I'd eat like four of them every time. Alright guys, box two. It's the best ice cream ever. It's 
So these tops goals used to be numbered back in, back in the day in archives, but I guess it's a standard now. They're all tops gold. All right, we got Trevor Rogers in the green, number to one twenty-five. Alex Kirloff, uh, number two, one fifty. Let's get two numbered in this box. All right, we got a Frank Viola, uh, Minnesota Twins. Go to Daniel. Not numbered. All right, so twins are down. They didn't do a subset this year. Don't they usually do a subset in archives? Like the one year it was Sandlot, the other year wasn't it, um, what's his name? Uh, Farrell. They didn't do one this year. It's usually what it's known for. I, didn't, I don't remember seeing it on the checklist. Alright, got another foil. It's going to be Trisha McKenzie, number 225 for the Indians. Uh, Indians is with the Yankees because they don't have hits. So let's go to Sean. Derek Lee for the Cubs going to Colin. Not numbered. All right, so Cubbies are down. That's a cool one from McCutcheon. That's it for box two. Box three. Let's see what poster we're getting in this one. All right, it's gonna be athletics. The swinging A's. I think all three of them go to you, right? Hey, the Rockies too. So right now you got all three, Nathan. Give yourself a nice little poster collection going. So there's no subsets, guys. Nothing this year. Because usually it's archives, right? They would Will Ferrell the one year, Sandlot another year. There's been a bunch of different ones. Packs. 
constantly see if they got anything crazy in this. And we have foil movie poster card. That's peel offs. Fan favorite autographs. Yeah. Looks like it's just mainly bordered stuff and uh, bordered foils and uh, autographs this time that I saw on the back of the pack. And a shit ton of rookies and inserts. Alright, we got Ramos Ramirez. It's going to be Cubby's again going to Colin. Elvis Andrews for the Athletics, number 275. Alright, we got Chin Ming Wang, Yankees, purple border, number 2, 150. Going to Sean. Chin Men Wang. Same team's hitting over and over already. We're only in three boxes so far. We got Reese Hoskins in the blue foil, number to 25. I think he's a free agent this year, unless they re-sign him. Be dumb to get rid of him. There you go, Jim. Junior's hair is crazy. And we have Jack Flaherty Green Border number to 125 for the Cardinals. Box number four.
right, we got the killer bees for the Astros. <clears throat> guys are born tonight <laughs> I don't know if you probably going to watch and you're going to wait for the recap what do you guys think OBJ is landing Rams are trying really hard for him for some odd reason at least Von Miller is To God, the Eagles don't take them. As much as we, we can use some receivers, I don't want them. My guess is he goes to the Raiders or Dallas. Raiders just had another guy get in trouble. He's sitting there waving guns and talking shit on Instagram or TikTok or something. So he'll be suspended now. I think one of their rookies in the draft. Alright, box four. We got a kill Badu for Detroit, number 250. Shining Stars foil. Alright, we got Dave Roberts for the Dodgers. Jeremiah, you'll like that probably. Your manager's auto. So Dodgers are down. You can see a lot of that. We got Bobby Jenks going to Jeff. White Sox. Alright, so White Sox are down. Different, uh, different styles of cards. So it might be an SP. I don't know. It just looks different, but.
and I'll have a list of the SPs. As of yesterday, they didn't. <coughs> Jose Barreo, number 275, the Reds. All right, on to box number five. See who gets the lucky poster. All right, it's coming for the Yankees. Murderers Row, Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig. Is on tonight. We got Jim and Jeff talking, or we're talking. Let's see, we got 12 on. Flyers now. What's their record? Are they actually playing playing decent already? Jim, I know the season just started, but all I know he's on the team no more. Alright, box five. Five, two, and two. I guess it's not too bad. Why is that, Jared? Why are you hoping for a Griffey auto? You're talking about senior or junior because they're both in it. <laughs> All right, we got uh, Benny Abiani for the Mets, uh, number to 150. No clue who the hell that is. Going to Billy. Nice. Was a good one, Jason. The Mets are down. All right, so I can't wait till April when I get back and set up again at Chantilly, man. It was a, this was what, the October shows are slow show, and I, I did pretty well, so I'm hoping 
do really good in April. It's pretty crowded in my eyes. But I've been there in April and it's, it's way crazier. Uh, Jared, there's no football releasing really, dude. That's the that's the issue. It's it, to go back and rebuy the stuff. There's nothing good. It's all college shit all year so far. We haven't really gotten to the good products yet, so it's not worth it for uh, for the pricing. All right, we got Scott uh, Bazanic. How do you say his name? I forget. Old school white so. Going to Jeff. Yeah, football, dude. Football's uh, the print. The printers have been down for these companies. That's why this stuff's coming out so late. Like, usually archives is out in like freaking May or June. This mm -hmm. this stuff's so behind, man. It's it's a it's bad, and then they're not giving us nothing. So it's like, it's just it's it's just becoming too too much, man. I rebuy a case and I can't film it when I'm posting my pre-sale price. Why am I gonna rebuy a case for twice as much? I'll just I'll just lose money on it. There's no point. <laughs> yeah, I don't really do randoms too much. Most of the time I do uh pick your team unless it's like, you know, draft break. But it's everything's so far behind of the usual production dates. It's just for football it's been terrible this year. Everything I mean, what have we had? Three products that aren't college? Yeah, I wish I could have got more of that leaf, but unfortunately not. But there's like, there's no football, dude. It's like, usually we're like a lot deeper in products. They're just, they're not coming out. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if anything even comes out next week for football or not. To be honest with you. And they're only giving me half a case if I'm lucky anymore. Alright, we got Eddie Matthews on this foil, number to 25. It's one of 25 for the Braves. Yeah, I, and Jason, they offered me to buy some of that aftermarket because it's so bad. Like, if they're coming at me with, um, and it wasn't even a full case, Jared. I don't even know what was in the boxes I sold on the side. That was only, that was only half a case of the, of the Leaf. But the NBA stuff, like, when they offer it to me now, like, I, obviously I, I can't get pre-sale on NBA no more because I don't really break a lot of it, but, um... Yeah, I mean, I can rebuy Origins and Elite and Elements, but I had it priced way below retail, and they weren't filling in for football, so <laughs> I still don't discount it. All right, for the Mariners, we got Buner, uh, Martinez, Griffey, and Johnson. My, oh, my. On the poster. But the, usually football, man, we're already past all that college crap, and we're still getting college. I mean, we just had College NT come out. They only gave me two boxes, so I sold them, but I'm just, like, just for instance, like, that's, that's crazy. They're so far behind in production on football this year, I don't know why. And then the stuff that we can rebuy, it's only, only college for the most part. I mean, I could go pay full retail and then charge, you know, whatever, but... It's just not worth it. And the draft class for football this year, like the quarterbacks haven't done shit. So it's like, you know, you try and sell the Jags for three, four hundred dollars in a break. Nobody wants them. Zach Wilson just got hurt. Nobody, well, nobody's won him all year. I mean, it's like, yeah, Prestige was retail. And then we just did, uh, what, Absolute? Absolute. Which, to me, was pretty good, but they only gave me half a case. And the, the, to pay eight grand for a case, that's just stupid. Like, I refuse to, man. It's just, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna lose my ass on that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Mac Jones, Mac Jones is the only one, he's still not winning, though. You know what I mean? Like, he looks good. I still think Trevor Lawrence looks pretty decent, but he's on the Jaguars. You know, it's like <clears throat> Zach Wilson. I mean, he's on the Jets. You know, two, three years from now, those products will be hot. Yeah, Absolute was just overpriced, man. 
I, I refuse to buy any of it. I, I took my pre-order of my half case and, and just walked away. I'm not paying four thousand dollars for another half case. It's just it's not worth it. Doesn't the stuff doesn't sell like that? Yeah, Justin Fields looks like shit. But again, he's on the Bears. I mean, it's like it might take a few years for these guys. I used to break a ton of football. Jared wasn't around then, but I used to, for years, I was one of the biggest football guys on Facebook. I broke a ton of it. But the pricing now, nobody wants to pay for it. At least not my group. Yeah, Lance, Lance didn't even get a chance, really. Garoppolo came back from his injury quick. No. I don't expect people to pay those prices, you know? This is cool. Spencer Howard on, I don't know what that is. Number 250. I guess it's like the old uh, gold foil. Yeah, and Houston's just trash. It'll take a few years, man. The products will be hot in like two or three years when two of the quarterbacks take off, you know? My Eagles aren't even using what's his face, so Eagles, you know, it's just, it's bad, man. It really is. Devontae, Devontae Smith. Well, Jerry, you said Ken Griffey, but we got his dad. <laughs> Yankees going to Sean. Yeah, the football class this year, I mean, they're decent. You got, uh... The guy on the Bengals is killing it, but his resale is just—it's just not there. That's the issue. The, the, the products are too expensive. All right, we got Paul Laduca, Dodgers, going to Jeremiah. Same three teams hitting over and over. This tops for you. I think Chronicles Baseball is pretty decent. It's usually a good product. Yeah, he is. Chase is outselling. But, I mean, for resale, for how good he's playing, you think he'd sell for more. Like, yeah, Jonathan Taylor from last year. I mean, he's killing it on the Colts. He's not uh, he's not really rising at all in his sales. I don't, I don't get it. He had a killer game last week with the Colts. But he's been playing well all year. He's, his stuff hasn't even gone up from last year. People still lowball me on my NT RPA. I have them. It's a shame. Football is just. I don't know why they're charging so much. It's not basketball. It don't sell for anything close to basketball. And even basketball is draft class in this stuff. Unless you hit ball, I mean, there's really not much to hit. Buster Posey on the foil, number to 150. I don't really know. I haven't really followed basketball sales in the recent guys in the past year because I don't, I don't get none of it. So I can buy some of it, but they only sell me the junk. And I'm not, I'm not posting the junk for what they're charging. He ain't gonna fill, and then I'll be stuck with it. I've learned my lesson on that too many times. <laughs> All right, we got a red of William Dames, number two, uh, seventy-five, Brewers. Yeah, that's what they said about last year too, Jason. They do have some guys that sell well though, but I mean obviously Ball was the biggest one. Dude was hurt all year and was still selling for Luca prices or more. Alright guys, four to go. Sorry it's the same teams hitting over and over. That's tops though. So we got Biggio, Vlad and Vlad, Bichette and Bichette, Biggio and Biggio. 
So if you guys want to fight over that, I'll do a random. Just let me know. It's, actually, it's three Blue Jays. So guys, the Blue Jays going to Richard. You got majority owner. Yeah, I haven't even really watched the NBA this year either. I haven't got gotten into it yet. Keep up with who's playing well. They're just charging too much, man. It's something's got to give. Whoever's paying these prices and filling, I don't. I wish I had their guys because I, I got no idea how people are paying these prices and filling them. They must be doing one box break with them. They're floating credit out or something because it's just not happening. <laughs> Yeah, it's football season to me, too. I don't start watching NBA until after football, usually. After their all-star break. I watch highlights, but that's about it. If there's nothing else on. My feet freezing, guys. It is on my end. Sometimes it's just my connection on when I'm watching it live. This is Saturday night, though. Facebook Live is pretty busy sometimes. Yeah. And I don't care much for. The World Series, because two teams I don't really care for, but I watched it. <clears throat> of course, I didn't want the Braves to win. Alright, box seven. We got uh, Kent Herbeck, Twins, not numbered. Going to Daniel, only team that's already hit. Yeah, same here, man. Same here, Jason. Dang, guys, hold on to your base and stuff, because they should drop an SP list eventually. As a U.S. trade, they didn't have it yet. Alright, we got a mini of Dylan Carlson. wonder how many per case that is. That's supposed to be autograph. Look. Top certified autograph issue. And it's not even autographed. Wow. So, Jason, you're going to have to talk to tops, buddy. It says top certified autograph, didn't even autograph it. Unbelievable. That's a good one too. I'm gonna hit up tops, buddy, they'll they'll fix that for you. That's ridiculous. Glad I saw that. How do you miss that? Well it was an extra auto. You got Tim Salmon for the Angels. It says right on there, autograph, it's, I, I'm assuming it has to be autographed. It's not numbered, though, which is odd, too. The minis are supposed to be numbered, I thought. Angels going to Rick. Tim Salmon. You guys remember Tim Salmon? That's funny. Yeah, it says right here, all signing of Topps autograph cards is witnessed by Topps representatives. So that's supposed to be autographed. It's an extra auto, actually. But still, you should be able to get that autographed. Tops customer service has actually been pretty good lately, so you shouldn't have a hard time with that one. I saw Young as a fat ass. I didn't realize he was that big. 
thought it was Babe Ruth for a second. Did I read that wrong? First salmon, then trout. <laughs> nice to pull a trout on it, too. That part is that Carlson's probably a case hit. It's not even freaking autographed. It's probably why they didn't catch it and why we got three autos. <coughs> it's ridiculous. Stuff like that just ticks me off. Charge so much for stuff now, I can't get things right. Alright, we got Bogarts, number two, uh, 125 for Boston. So I'll not mark the Cardinals as a hit just because it ain't autographed. Even though it is, but that's top, on tops right there. What the hell is that? Rainbow, Boys of Summer card. Wasn't there supposed to be 911 cards in, in a case too? Or is that, is that, I'm thinking of something else. I thought there was 911 tribute cards, or was that the Heritage Miners? Alright, we got Eddie Matthews number to 150. Sold that case, but. I don't they had special tribute 9-11 cards in this one from 2001 Tops. I thought it was a subset. I haven't seen any. Alright, box 8. The Family for Pittsburgh. Parker Stargell and St. Gillian. That's for you, Jason. Hanging up above your above your toilet and take a shit on it. <laughs> Can you put Clemente on there? Yeah, that's what I was saying. The, the minis are supposed to be numbered to 25 or less, I thought. So it's not even numbered. I'll double check again, but I didn't see any any foil on that for numbering. Yeah, it's not even numbered. So they didn't even uh, stamp it. Tell me when a trout has a replacement. It's like Panini the other night. Panini, we got a got a redemption. I flip it over and the damn thing is blank. <laughs> For mosaic. I think that's worse than that. <laughs> At least you have a card you can you can fight for it since it says certified autograph on it. That I can't do nothing. It's a blank redemption. Yeah, quality control is terrible for sure. Well, the problem is, is that so the printing, the printers are all being used by the same companies now apparently, and they're all backed up, not working, stuff being delayed like crazy. They can't find glue no more because of China not giving us shit, or it's stuck on the, it's stuck in all the containers. So it's like, I don't know what's going on. It's been getting worse, quality control. So I know they were using Mexico for a while, but then after that debacle with uh, Gypsy Queen, of all them Pache autos, I don't think they're using them anymore. No don't say them in the cases now. 
I don't think it does. No, this one doesn't say in, in Mexico like that one did. Oh, I'm sure they hire cheap labor. Half the stuff probably doesn't even make it in the product, dude. I bet you half the time the people, if they're putting them in there, they're pocketing them. They know how much cards are worth. They ain't stupid. They've been doing that shit for years, though. Nah. Fanatics is going to be worse, dude. Fanatics customer service is already terrible. Their autographs are half the time are smeared when they receive them. I see posts all the time. I haven't had good experiences with them either. All right, Dodgers hit again with a Kyle Erskine from Jeremiah. I think Fanatics is going to be worse. They're going to cut everybody out. <clears throat> I think it's just going to be terrible, man. <laughs> What's a card lifter, Jason? Card lover, you mean? <laughs> I think it's gonna be bad, dude. You're gonna see a lot of breakers no more. They're gonna if they can't if we can't get the stuff for a good deal, man. We're gonna, it, stuff's not gonna fill. No one's gonna want to buy anything. A lot of card lifer. Maybe I read that wrong. Oh, you said lifer. I, I thought you said lifter. I'm like, what are you shoplifting cards too? <laughs> like the employees. I've I've loved cards my whole life too, man. It's a shame. All right, nice hit for the do or Tiger Cecil Feeder. Uh, going to John. Maybe you're looking for a Miggy, probably, but I'll take a fielder. Yep, same here, man. As long as I can get a get around to doing it, I'll be doing it for life as well. Shame, that's probably our best auto so far. Start investing in this kid, guys. Posey's gone. Bart's going to be the next big thing in San Fran, I'm telling you. As soon as he retired, I went Bart sold quick. I couldn't even take him off eBay in time. <coughs> Let me mark Detroit off before I forget. <coughs> Stand thieves, man. That's what, that's what this world's coming to. Alright, we got a silver border of Arizona, number 99 for the Rays. I'm going to dismiss that one. Said to pull him a Ryan Sandberg auto or else. Let's see if we can pull that off for him. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. They got Patrick Bailey too. I forgot about him. Even if both are good, why don't just get traded then? For all about Patrick Bailey. Well, they knew Posey was done, man. I think he probably told them, better start drafting catchers because I'm out of here soon. After all his injuries, he's probably just over it. Alright, two left, guys. Yeah, Ryan Scribble. Auto. I like Ryan Sandberg's auto. I like all the little loops. It reminds me of Jeter's. All right, we got the the Brooklyn Dodgers joints. Actually, all jacked up already. Reese Campanella, Snyder, and Jackie.
Maybe Cubs are trying to trade everyone and start over again. They got their World Series, now they just want to start over. Smart. I mean, their fan base ain't going to go nowhere. It's the Phillies did after our, our World Series loss in 09. We won in 08, lost in 09. We, we did a fire sale. <coughs> it's just taking a long time to get back. The Cubs, the Cubs gave up so much in their farm system to have a team like that to win the World Series. So many good players that are performing well now. Sure, well Yachty's done, right? Wasn't this his last season, Jason? I know they were thinking about trading his ass, which would have been dumb. I like Real Muto. I'm glad we got him in a trade. I like him a lot. Oh, he's got one more year? Okay. He's got an auto in this, doesn't he? Wasn't he on the uh, trade rumor block this year, which would have been really crappy to do to the guy. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I think they had Jimenez, they had, um, uh, what's his name, Mancada. No, not Moncada. Who was the other guy they had that was close to him? They've had the Cubs have had a lot of guys over the years that they, they gave up before they even got a chance to come up. It wasn't Moncada, I can't remember who the other big one was. To see his name, I'll remember. Damn it, can't think of it. Yeah, Dylan Cease, Gliber, that's what it is, Gliber Torres. We've had a lot of big names. <clears throat> All right, we got Chan Ming Wang again. This time base auto, the Yankees. Going to show on. This is crazy, only like five teams have hit. Five or six teams. He'll probably sell though to foreigners. He hasn't had an autograph in a long time, I don't think. So I can remember. Maybe an archive SIGs, but. This is a cool product. I just hate doing breaks of it. Just a lot of good rookies. If you buy boxes, it's good for rookies and inserts. I just know the autos don't really hit that great. You get a couple here and there, but for the most part, you get one good per case. That's not anything else to break at a time. We get two autos in this or just one? We've only got one so far. Oh, here's the next one. I guess that goes to the non spot. Lauren Shahadi. Host. Yeah, I guess that's on the non spot. So 
that goes to um, Angel Spot going to Rick. I wonder if she sells good. Uh, yeah, the sorting on this is tough. The only reason I broke is I only had one. I, I hate sorting this. I used to do a whole bunch of uh, breaks of this every year, but it's a pain to sort. Cause of, just because of all the different borders. I'll tell you what, Mosaic was a bitch to sort. I didn't realize how many cards were in a case. And as you stack them, they're so slippery. I was, I was getting pissed. Doing the full case of that. Well, two cases. It's like there's no numbered cards in this box at all. Alright, one left. I wonder if she sells well though. I only put it with the Angels because I didn't, I didn't know if those people sold good. Alright, Big Red Machine. Griffey Senior Conception. Perez, Foster, Morgan, and Johnny Bench. Yeah, sorting uh, Mosaic is rough. I still got five boxes of hobby from. I was selling boxes at the show and. Colin bought four boxes that hit nothing. I don't know if there's anything in them or not. I'm debating on opening them myself. That quick pitch actually has some nice parallels in it. It's cheap too. The five box right pitch is cheap. So obviously one auto a box. I might be able to bust a, a prism case that ever shows up. I sent one to Charlie in August and it's still lost. If it ever shows up, I'll just gonna do a break of it. <laughs> I think we broke one earlier, but then I sold him my other one and never showed up. I actually like prism. Prism baseball. The mosaic's nice too. I don't know why it's not, uh, I guess the resale on it sucks. Yeah. What's that on the quick pitch, Jason, or the, uh, the hobby? The hobby always has two autos. The last one we just did, um, choice, that had, that had all numbered cards. But the resale mosaic, people are posting it so cheap, it's just the trend went down quick on it. The cards are nice. I don't care if they're unlicensed. I hate when people say it's unlicensed. Who gives a shit? Leave some license, and they got the best cards on the market. And their cases hit all the big guys in every product for the most part. You get 90% of the big hits. Every case. That's how it should be. Yeah, select's nice as well. Got a nice auto coming up. I see it on top of the pile. Go to you, Jeff. Eloy Jimenez. Uh, number 249. White Sox. I love Leaf, dude. And I can't even get Leaf no more. It's, it's a shame. I get one or two cases of stuff, and that's it. I used to break so much Leaf. They don't even give me none. I can't even rebuy it. If I could talk to Brian and just get an exclusive Leaf contract, and just, I would just break Leaf and that's it. Once Fanax takes over, if he's still doing it, I'm going to talk to him. I'll just break Leaf nonstop for him. If he can give me a contract to get stuff cheaper, because I'll break the shit out of it. I love Leaf. I 
and the sale, the resale one has gone up a lot in the past year or two. It's, it's starting to go get a lot better. But for the price, you can't beat what you're hitting it. All right, we got Ian Anderson on the bordered foil, number 25, one of 25. Yeah, that's what he said. We'll see, though. My money talks. Or, sorry, it's 11 of 25. We'll see. Money talks, man. But Brian's a good dude. I've talked to him. I've sold him stuff for his repacks and stuff like that. He's a good dude. If I could talk to him, get an exclusive once Fanatics takes over, I'll just bust Leaf, man. I'll just be a Leaf breaker. I'm fine with that. So I can't get it in my hands on other products, it don't matter anyway. <laughs> Alright, we got Carlos Delgado, number two, 125. I mean, that's, we still got three more years before any of that stuff happens. Two to three more years, so we'll see. We'll see what the big plan is. Gives me time to focus on just shows, so I'll be happy with that too. I, I enjoy them. I'll just travel and do shows. Alright, we got Rocky, Rocco Baldali. Manager for the Twins. I didn't even know he was their manager now. Going to Daniel. I appreciate that, Jason. I wish more people knew that. I've been around for a long time. I'd rather go with these new guys and get scammed or have shitty service because their stuff fills snap fills somehow, but it is what it is. Well, auto sucked, guys. I'm sorry. We had a couple decent ones. One that should have been auto that wasn't. Nice, Lou Gehrig on the red foil, number 250. It's usually why I don't break regular tops, the archives, getting through any of that, because it's, you know, it's not, to me, not good for breaks, but it's a cheaper break, at least. All right, let's do a recap, and I'll do the uh, card show friends, Richard. <laughs> Let's do the, uh, actually let me do the $30 break credit and I'll do the recap for those that are waiting on that. Yeah, Richard came and he bowed me out. My buddy canceled on me. He bowed me out big time. Rich, I still gotta grab tables for April. I haven't, uh, I haven't, uh, done it yet. What is this crap? Allow all. Alright, let's do random for the $30 break credit. All right, a lot of teams, guys. We got D-backs, Braves, Orioles, Red Sox, Reds, Rockies. Oh, man, it's not typing. Start again. D-backs, Braves, O's, Red Sox, Reds, Rockies, Astros, Royals, Marlins, Brewers, A's, Phil's, Pirates, Padres, Giants, Mariners, Cardinals should be on there, but I'll put you in anyway since it wasn't autographed, Rays, Rangers, and Nats. Alright guys, we got Nats, Rangers, Rays, Cardinals, Mariners, uh, Giants, can't spell it with F. <laughs> Uh, Padres, Pirates, Bills, A's, Brewers, Marlins, Royals, Astros, Rockies, Reds, Red Sox, O's, Braves, and E-backs. Typical for tops. Alright, anything higher than four guys, four or lower, do I re-roll? We're going to go nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. It's going to be the Rays. So Tampa Bay Rays is John. So $30 break credit, bud. Let me know when you want to use it. 
do our recap. I mean, people should trust me. I'm one of the old school. I've been around a long time. All right, guys. We got Rocky or Rocco Baldelli, Eloy Jimenez, number two, uh, two forty-nine, Lauren Shahadi, which went to the non-spot with the Angels, uh, Wang for the Yanks. We got Cecil Fielder, Carl Erskine, Dylan Carlson mini, which is supposed to be numbered to twenty or less and autographed, but it was not. Tim Salmon. For the Angels, we had uh, Herbeck, LaDuca, Ken Griffey Sr. Never know how to say this guy's name right. Pasednik. We got uh, Agibani, number to 150. Jenks, Dave Roberts. We got Wang again for New York, number to 150. Ramirez Ramirez, Derek Lee, Frank Viola, uh, Carlos Delgado, number to 150. And John Flaherty. Our numbered cards. Unless I missed some, which I did, I'll top load them, guys, but I don't think I did. We had Lou Gehrig, number to 50. Ian Anderson, uh, number to 25. Carlos Delgado, number to 125. Ara Rosina, number to 99. Eddie Matthews, number to 150. Bogarts, number to 125. Willie Dames, number to 75. Buster Posey, number two, 150. Spencer Howard, number two, uh, 50. Eddie Matthews, number two, 25. We had Barrero, number two, 75. Badu, number two, 20, or 50. Jack Flaherty, number two, 125. Reese Hoskins, number two, 25. Elvis Andrews, number two, 75. Trisha McKenzie, number two, 25. Kirloff, number two, 150. Trevor Rogers, number two, 125. And Ara Rosina, number two, 150. Uh, Rick, I'll tell you the autos you had. Uh, you had Angels, and who else did you have? You had two teams, right? Mariners. Mariners, you got a bunch of Kelnick rookies, which is good, but they did not hit. Uh, Angels, you had Tim Salmon. I'm sure you loved him growing up out in uh, where you live in California. So you had Tim Salmon, and then I don't know if she sells or not, but you did get a non-spot of Lauren Shahadi. So I don't know if that's a good one or not. I don't know how she sells, but I think there's only two in a non two people in a non-spot, right? wasn't wasn't big. But Kelnick for the Mariners got a lot of his rookies. I'd hold on to them and top load them and save them because they're gonna be good. She definitely is, Rick. She definitely is. Don't be jerking off to it, though. <laughs> All right, guys. Appreciate it. I'll get this man out to you on Monday. Uh, tomorrow, I'll post some um, Chronicles. And then right now, I just have up a five-boxer of a quick-pitch mosaic. So it's only one auto per box, but a couple parallels per box in that as well. But it's cheap. All right, guys. Take care. Have a great night. Talk to you all soon.